Sickle cell anemia is a disease passed down through families in which red blood cells form an abnormal crescent shape. Red blood cells are normally shaped like a disc. Sickle cell anemia symptoms. Symptoms usually don't occur until after age 4 months. Almost all patients with sickle cell anemia have painful episodes, called crises, which can last from hours to days. These crises can affect the bones of the back, the lung bones, and the chest. Some patients have one episode every few years. Others have many episodes per year. The crises can be severe enough to require a hospital stay. Common symptoms include attacks of abdominal pain, bone pain, breathlessness, delayed growth in puberty, fatigue, fever, palance, rapid heart rate, ulcers on the lower legs in adolescents and adults, yellowing of the eyes and skin, jaundice. Other symptoms include chest pain, excessive thirst, frequent urination, painful and prolonged erection, priapism occurs in 10 to 40 percent of men with the disease. Poor eyesight, blindness, strokes, skin ulcers, sickle cell anemia treatment. The goal of treatment is to manage and control symptoms and to limit the number of crises. Patients with sickle cell disease need ongoing treatment even when they are not having a painful crisis. Folic acid supplement should be taken. Folic acid is needed to make red blood cells. Treatment for a sickle cell crisis includes blood transfusions may also be given regularly to prevent stroke. Pain medicines, plenty of fluids. Other treatments for sickle cell anemia may include hydroxyura, hydri, a medicine that may help reduce the number of pain episodes, including chest pain and difficulty breathing, in some people, antibiotics to prevent bacterial infections, which are common in children with sickle cell disease. Treatments for complications of sickle cell anemia may include kidney dialysis or kidney transplant for kidney disease, drug rehabilitation and counseling for psychological complications, gallbladder removal in those with gallstone disease. Hip replacement for a vascular necrosis of the hip. Treatments, including surgery for persistent, painful erections, priapism. Surgery for eye problems, wound care, zinc oxide, or surgery for leg ulcers. Bone marrow or stem cell transplants can cure sickle cell anemia. However, they are current not an option for most patients. Sickle cell anemia patients are often unable to find well-matched donors. Sickle cell anemia is a common disease, yet every individual needs unique treatment and care. We encourage people with sickle cell anemia and their families to learn as much as possible about the latest medical treatment and approaches as well as healthy lifestyle choices. For more information about sickle cell anemia and how to treat sickle cell anemia, just click on the link at description. Or visit www.mainmd.com. Thank you.